at least artificial intelligence artificial intelligence we are not talking about this enough i'm gonna ask everybody listen y'all please start playing with this ai right and and start figuring out whatever business you can because this ai is going to eat up about 40 percent of jobs and i'm talking like it's starting now upper levels uh, technology people like your computer programmers, your software engineers, they're fucked. Now, do I have empathy for them? No, because these fucking idiots let the people tell them, hey guys, why don't you make some technology that could replace yourselves? And they were like, yeah, let's make technology that'll replace us. That'll be great. And they all made this fucking artificial intelligence now they don't have jobs and am i supposed to feel sorry you you literally invented this technology to take you out and now this shit is everywhere and it's rampant and like we don't even know like amazon is quietly laying people off google apple they all like letting motherfuckers go because the AI has replaced them. And this shit is good. If you've used chat GPT or any of this shit, it's amazing. You could, you could write scripts. You could do all kind of shit. To the point where the shit is so good, they can make, well, what you guys didn't know is I'm actually artificial intelligence. This isn't LeVar talking to you. I'm actually an AI. No, I'm bullshit. But it's so good to the point where they got some shit where I, I'm not even here and you just see this and you see me like this, but I'm not here. It's fucking amazing, man. And they got fucking, uh, the, I, it probably is right, jokes, but I, the jokes would be probably a little too complex. I, you know, the only thing it don't have is a soul, but I'm sure to get that soon. But uh, they're letting a lot of people go now. And even in Amazon at the warehouse, you know, they got full moving robots that they can run for $3 an hour. They could run a robot in that bitch for $3 an hour. Uh, and that's the thing with this, with the government getting involved with trying to say, I, I get it, you know, fair wages, unions and shit like that. But, this technology is not this technology combined with capitalism it's it's going to be rough so i would tell everybody the only way i think that we'll be able to combat it is if we start to begin to all think individually as entrepreneurs and you try to figure out some kind of way to pay yourself or, or do what you have to do cuz this shit is coming fast and even with me as a pharmacist it's like I mean, the only thing that make a pharmacist's license worth it is that, you know, the state laws saying that you need a licensed registered pharmacist to be there to verify, dispense, and give medication. I mean, that's what made the shit profitable. But, you know, once they pay off the congressman or the senator to write that law out, it's a wrap. That AI could check and verify that shit and counsel and to find DUR interactions and fractions of a second, even with law. Shit, you can get AI to write you a letter, a lawsuit. It's crazy, man. So, guys, get ready. They Amazon fired 100 people because they was five minutes late. And the robot walked in when they was fired. When they fired them, the ro did they fire them or the robot fire them? What is they firing process? They email you or something, but do they call you on a Zoom? How does how does that happen? We are we are really headed into some very, very strange times. Like 2024, like yesterday was 1231-23, which was 123-123, which in itself should tell us something. We're leading into some very, very interesting times. Um, nothing, and I mean nothing, going forward. It, I don't even think we can wrap our minds around, especially being older and shit. Like, I'm, what am I, Generation X? 
I can't even, you talk to these young people, it's like, you know, it's like a caveman talking to a human. It, it, like, I don't even understand, like, a lot of their thought processes and shit. And it's with this combination of technology, shorter attention spans. Listen, man, we walking off a fucking cliff. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fucking wild. They had a, they had a, a goddamn robot at Tesla jump on one of the people. The robot started whooping their ass at Tesla. I gotta, let me pull that up. It's insane. Let me see if it'll. Yeah, this is, this is wild. Let me show y'all this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. All right. Here we go. Elon Bucks braced silence on claims Tesla robot attacked engineer and drew blood. Elon spoke out of a report says that a Tesla engineer was a victim of a vicious attack by a robot in the factory. They probably overworked their robot. He probably wanted to go to the bathroom, but they didn't let him. So he started whooping ass around it. Elon Musk has uh, spoken out after reports suggested that a Tesla engineer was a victim of a vicious attack by a robot in factory. The alleged attack happened in 2021. But the claims only surfaced in recent months. It was said that blood was left splattered on the floor after the robot arm, which is meant to move aluminum car parts, dug into the work while he was programming software for other robots. But Musk denies the report, stating the attack was not carried out by one of the humanoid Optimus robots, as was suggested in some reports. He described it as a truly shameful for the media to bring up the reports from years back, adding that it was actually a different robot. This nigga. It wasn't that robot. It was a different robot that kicked the worker's ass. Uh, attack implies it made a decision. That robot did exactly as a program to do. Apparently, worker thought it was off when it wasn't. His report that engineer believed the robot was switched off while programming the software, but it hadn't been correctly shut down. It hit the emergency when the robotic arm sunk into shit. Listen, man, they don't even know what's going on with this shit. This AI they didn't let this shit out of a bottle. It's probably figuring out how to program itself. Uh, and it's going to become aware. I don't get it. The danger of this shit is we don't even know what intelligence is, right? As humans, we have no understanding of what intelligence is. So artificial intelligence is just basically uh, math and data, and they firing shit back to you. They scare the internet. It's all numbers, but... It seems as if this shit is going to merge and make some type of superhuman and we all going to just be getting our asses kicked, man. This is, it's wild. Let me see. Po we need to cancel cancel culture. Man, this is a robot whooping a human's ass. We cannot write that off. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but. I don't know what to say. Things are just getting wilder and wilder, guys. It's getting wild. Mm. Cardi B and Offset back together. Cardi B liked that shit, though. Cardi B, she be talking about Offset cheating, but she did a video one time where she said she won't, she she can't be with no motherfucker that can't get no hoes. Like, she want a nigga to cheat on her. She really did a video about that. I wish I could find it. <laughs> so he just doing what he do, shit. Some women turn on by that shit, and that's just real. What'd you say not true? She did do a video, Vivian. She said she liked people that cheated on her. So oh, let me see if I can go to my Twitter and find this. I thought I had it. She said she liked the man that kind of got down. I gotta be careful because I don't want no. I don't want. Please, I don't want no porn to pop up. 
Oh boy, they about to go after old Billy Clinton. That, that Epstein, the Epstein files coming out. Cardi B video. Let me see. Please don't pull up if it's porn. All right. Just a snippet of a song. Cardi B video. Let me see if put in cheating. Nah. I got to do a side-by-side video of that because she talked about that. Y'all think we're going to get out of this ratchet phase of like women just rapping about their pussies and fucking how much longer is this shit going to last? Like literally. And I'm for women and their sexual liberation. If you, you know, I think every woman should go through a whole phase, but it's really getting out of control now. So I don't know guys. I, I, I can't find that video right now. But how y'all like this so far, man? Y'all like this? Should I keep doing them early? Maybe, yeah, I'm going to keep doing these early. Like, I could talk to y'all for another two hours. Yeah, I know, bro, with Sexy Red. That shit is wild, bro. That Sexy Red shit blows my fucking mind. Like, that shows you, like, it's the same shit in comedy. It's the same shit. You see this shit that's winning or look like it's winning. It's like a fucking, it's wild. It's wild. I'm about to do a whole nother character of a comedian. Like maybe I'm just some nigga out of jail and I got mad tats. Or, this is this is what they want or something. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, Big Rob. I appreciate it. I'm going to start doing these motherfuckers earlier now fuck i'm gonna do i might come back on here tonight because shit i can sit and talk to y'all all day i'm a talker that's they call me lavar walker talker so yeah it's gonna get worse bro it's gonna get worse i gotta call you rob for the new year i'm gonna hit you when i get off here well guys this has been a real one man uh thank you guys for tuning in to Today's episode of the LeVar Walker uh, Daily Show podcast. Uh, this has been great. We unveiled the Funko Pop. My son had been asking me when I was going to uh, unveil that. I got to put some, I'm going to put some, like some shelves on that back wall so I can get some. I got some paintings and shit coming. That's right, Clyde Henry. Always pray. Listen to Clyde Henry. And also, too, I want to just shout out to the good brother Jonathan Soul one more time. Angel Rose and also Jonathan Soul for these wonderful and amazing super chats that you guys came in. And thank you guys for uh, that. But uh, not again, Angel? God damn. Man, shout out to Angel. Angel came in with another 20. Oh, you going to make me cry. You are going to make me cry. Thank you, Angel. Well, look, guys, this has been it. This has been great. Rob, I'm going to give you a call, brother. My name is LeVar Walker. This is another uh, episode of LeVar Walker Daily Show podcast. If you are in Detroit, Michigan, I will be in Pontiac, Michigan, uh, January 13th at the Strand Theater. Get those tickets. Pull up on your boy. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.